I have dropped this malicious Trojan file in Amazon S3 bucket to see guard duty malware protection for S3 can catch it or not. Welcome to what's new at AWS. Let's quickly check this feature in action. In guard duty under protection plans, we will see a new feature called malware protection for S3. Here we can add list of buckets or object prefixes for malware protection. And once we enable malware protection, this guard duty malware protection service will scan each newly uploaded object and it will publish that matrix to CloudWatch where we can define alarm to get notification or take some action. It will publish scan results to event bridge where we can configure alerts to get notification or take different actions like uh, removing that infected object or moving that object to some isolated bucket. It can also add tags to those scanned objects and we can use these tags to define tag based access control policy or in short back policy. I'll explain all these in details when I'll walk you through the demo. So let's click enable. I went ahead and created one S3 bucket called AWS Junkie and right now it is empty. So I'm going to select that bucket. And here we have option to define the scope of this malware scan. We can select all objects under S3 bucket or objects which begins with any specific prefix. Here you can allow guard duty to add tags to your scanned objects. If you select this, then after each malware scan, guard duty tags your S3 object with a scan status. These are predefined scan status, no threats found, threats found, unsupported and access denied and failed. As tagging comes with some price and in case if you do not want that, then you can select do not tag objects. In permission section, you need to choose an IAM role with appropriate permissions so that guard duty can perform malware scan on your behalf. So you will find the permissions here. Click view permissions and here you will find the trust relationship and policy and which you can just simply copy and create a role. In my case, I have already created this role using that trust relationship and permissions. And if you closely look at this policy, you will see that it has permission to list rewrite for event bridge for write or KMS and list read write and tagging for S3. Let me quickly explain why these roles are required. Guard duty will scan newly uploaded S3 objects in S3 bucket and once scan is done, it will add some tags based on the selection. So that's why it requires list, read write and tagging permission. Then if S3 object is encrypted, then it needs KMS access to decrypt S3 objects before scanning. Then it publishes the scanned results to event bridge. And here just notice this do not delete uh, Amazon guard duty malware protection rule. I'll show you once I'll go to this event bridge and I will explain what is the purpose of this role. So for the time being, let's switch back to guard duty refresh and select the role gd mal scan role click enable malware protection is enabled for this s3 bucket let's go back to our s3 bucket and refresh once enabled it has created one malware protection resource validation object to verify malware protection we will upload two files here one is clean another one is infected with malware and we'll see how guard duty reacts. So I already have one malware here, which is called bad PDF dot PDF. And in case you are curious, what is this? So let me show you. So let's first take that checksum. Copy this checksum. Go to virus total, paste the checksum, and you can see it's a Crozan and it is identified by so many vendors. 
and here focus this entry bit defender exploit html agent ao because this is what we are going to see in the finding let's go back to our terminal and let's check the connectivity by typing aws s3 ls and we can see our bucket here now let's upload this bad pdf file aws s3 copy bad pdf dot pdf to our s3 bucket which is aws chunky this is uploaded and let's create one new clean file and upload to s3 as well echo this is clean file good dot txt ls so now upload this good dot txt aws s3 copy good dot txt s3 ws chunky let's go back to s3 bucket hit refresh and we can see our good.txt and bad pdf first click good.txt scroll down and in the tag section we can see guard duty malware scan status is no threats found let's check the bad pdf scroll down and here we can see threats found this scan status tags are really important if you want to define tag based access control policy for example you want to allow user to access s3 object only if guard duty malware scan status is no threats found similarly if guard duty malware scan status is threats found then you can make those s3 objects available only to specific user groups or users such as cyber security analyst now open CloudWatch metrics to see what uh, it publishes there. All metrics. Here we can see the metrics. AWS Guard Duty Malware Protection. Let's click it. Here we can see three metrics already published. Completed scan count, infected scan count, completed scan bytes. If you select this, we can see the visualization here and we have not defined any alarm but based on these metrics we can define alarm and we can get notification and we can take appropriate action also now let's open uh, event bridge click rules here we can see do not delete amazon guard duty malware protection s3 rule that is created by amazon guard duty malware protection service in the description section we can see this rule is used to root s3 put object and s3 bucket level event notifications to guard duties s3 malware protection service so basically when any new object is uploaded in s3 bucket this rule forward that event to guard duties s3 malware protection service and s3 malware protection service pull that object from s3 bucket scan that object and once scan is finished it publishes metrics to cloudwatch and scan status or scan result to amazon event bridge now let's go back to guard duty and here you can see view all s3 malware findings let's click this button here we can see one finding which is high severity and finding type is s3 malicious file and for the resource bad pdf dot pdf if we click this one we can see a malware scan on s3 object bad pdf dot pdf has detected a security risk exploit html agent ao and if we scroll down you'll see it is detected by bit defender and thread type is exploit html agent.ao it also give little bit details about 
the finding like uh, it's a embedded javascript is there in the pdf if you have use case where you receive files from untrusted sources you definitely take advantage of this fully managed service once it identifies any malicious file you can take appropriate action to restrain malicious file before it spreads that's it for today's update i'll see you in the next one until then happily float on the cloud